All right, guys, so today I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul for you. Now, I told you that we are switching to completely gluten-free, dairy-free. And for the most part, everything is gluten-free, dairy-free. I think there's maybe one thing, maybe two things that have, a, have milk in them. And that is for a project we're doing today. And that's also for something that I told them we didn't want and they gave it to me anyways. But without further ado, I know what y'all came for. Let me show you real quick what I got. And then at the end, I'll put exactly how much is on there. Now my kids are trying to guess. So we're gonna take their guess before we get started. And at the end, I'm gonna let them know which person was the closest. So let's see if they can guess. In my imagination, I'm always on vacation. Say that I'm a wild child. I'm a free So Carter and Austin, yes. all of these groceries, okay? I want you to walk around the table and look at everything. And you tell me how much you think we spent on all of these groceries for our family of seven. How much, now this is all gluten-free. Now we do meat and stuff like that. Yes, it's for you. It's uh, dairy free and gluten free, but we do have meat. Thank you for picking it up. I can edit all this out. It's both gluten free and dairy free, but we do have meat. So I'll show you in a minute what we have. But so Austin has his hand up. Let's see. Austin, how much do you think we spent? Well, exact change. We gotta hurry up. I gotta get the meat one, and stuff in there. $100,000. $100,000. All right, Carter, how much do you think we spent? $100,000. $170? $175. Okay, Carter, how much do you think we spent? Either $320 or $250. Either $320 or $250. Dylan, how about you? How much do you think we spent on all the groceries? How much? $1,600 or $16? $1,600? Wow, okay. All right, we'll see. So let me show you what we got so far, and then I'll tell you at the end what we spent. So starting on this side, we're going to be doing more baking and stuff like that. So I got some gluten-free flour because I got, you'll see in a minute what I got for this. I got some bread to start us out. Now I did buy this gluten-free baking flour and this all-purpose flour that's gluten-free. And I did that because we're going to also try our hand at baking our own. So that'll be nice to see if we can make our own bread. But until then, we're going to need bread. This, this stuff I think I, maybe was like six bucks. So these loaves are more expensive. I can see that the things are going to add up more. But you know what? It's the price of health. So I got completely allergen-free baking chips. And that's going to be great for baking. Um, like I said, Dylan, we'll do whatever. So we're going to do this for her. And we're going to make sure that she's good. And she gets to have all the things that the other kids get to have. And because they're doing it too. I found some gluten-free breadcrumbs. I also found some dairy-free yogurt, which she loves this blueberry one. Oh, I didn't show you that um, I did buy another gluten-free flour back here too. And actually, before I go around the table, let's go ahead and show you this. I got some protein milk. This is gluten-free as well. And some almond milk. It's actually chocolate. Some, yeah, some chocolate almond milk. You're right, chocolate almond milk. <laughs> I also bought some apple juice and some mm -hmm dairy-free, gluten-free creamer because all the kids love coffee. Yeah. I needed some more of these little shovel things for the garden because we can't find my other one. And I also got Blake and I some gloves, but of course the kids can use them and I'll order them their own pack too. They just didn't have any kids size. I have a recipe this week with some sun-dried tomatoes it's called Marry Me Chicken. It's going to be delicious and I'm going to use that. We also got some chicken wings, so we're going to spice it up with some lemon pepper seasoning and some Caribbean jerk seasoning. Here's that catfish I showed you. So that's for this gluten-free flour. I'm gonna fry some catfish this week. Um, these baking crumbles, I love these. I usually put these, these with my kale and eggs in the morning, delicious. Now those bacon bits, the regular ones, those have red 40, so be careful with those. But these don't have any red 40 because it's you know, natural pieces. So just make sure you check your expiration dates and everything, you should be good with these. All right, on this side, let me set that back down. Put that down, please, I'll, I'll give you some in one second, okay? All right, on this side, I have some smoked turkey because collard greens of course i got two packs of chicken wings because when we eat these we need two packs for our family i got one bag of or one container of this drumsticks wings and thighs because dylan really loves these and the kids love them it's an easy meal for them if i just put some adobo garlic lemon um liquid smoke and you know however they'll eat that they love that it's an easy meal tofu because i like to cut this up and put this in my um 
and my collard green wraps. It's really good. It's full of protein. So I, and Mercy likes it too. So I'll dry it out, chop it up, and we'll have this to eat on it throughout the week. I also got two big bags of shrimp because we need two for our family and a big bag of these burgers because, you know, burgers. Um, my husband loves to make burgers and the kids like them too. Burgers. These are for my kale and eggs in the morning. Um, really good, really healthy. Y'all know I'm doing my weight loss mommy get my body back thing. So there we go. Ribs, y'all, I haven't bought ribs in forever, but I saw them and they were on sale. So we are gonna make a huge plank and it's big, you see? I also got some bacon. Y'all know I'm in my kick now. I know it's not the healthy. The people are like, that's not healthy. I get it. But like I told you, I'm in my healing journey. And that looks a little weird to some people. But to me, that's just what it is. And it means eating things that I never allowed my body to eat before. I'm not going to always eat like this. But I'm allowing myself to realize that, okay, I can still be okay and not be scared to eat certain things. All right, so veggies and fruits. So over here we have bell peppers for the week, red onion, always have red onion. My refrigerator right now is stocked with white onions. I don't care. Red onions are where it's at, and so like I always make sure to have them. Fresh garlic, I put it really in everything. I know a lot of people like to buy the big jars of the minced garlic. It's just not what I do. I love to chop it myself. Corn on the cob, I think there's six ears, and there's some over there, so my kids love that, and we make that a lot. I got some mushrooms. Mercy loves, loves, loves tomatoes. So I keep these in the fridge all the time. I love Brussels sprouts. And so I keep those all the time. Here's some basil for another chicken recipe I have. And asparagus, I also cut this up, steam it, like lightly blanch it, and put this in my collard green wraps. It gives it the best crunch. It is so good. Avocados I buy a lot. And I keep them until they kind of turn. And then once they get to a good state, I'll stick them in the fridge. But... We have plenty right now, probably like four or five in the fridge, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So these I'll just leave on the table close to the bananas or put them in a paper bag with one banana that's going bad and it will um, ripen them up. So that's a trick. If you ever need to ripen your avocados, put them in a paper bag with a banana and they'll ripen right up probably the next day. All right, right here we have some oranges. You'll see our fruit is like hidden under here because the table is completely covered, guys. So. I'm trying to hurry up so I can get my meat and stuff in the fridge. They just delivered, so it's fine right now. I got an eggplant. Blake and I love eggplant parmesan, so we'll be making that sometime this week. I bought some oranges, some limes. This coconut we already had. Dylan, y'all know how much she loves cucumbers, and my baby had a rough day today. She reacted to her anesthesia not greatly, so I'll we'll cut her up some cucumbers in a moment. Um, I have apples, more limes, broccoli, Tomatoes, this, these tomatoes also go with that basil chicken that I usually make, so that's for this week. Potatoes under there, and I think that's all my veggies that are hidden under there, so there's a lot. All right, let's walk onto this side of the table. What's up, baby? I know. Why are you making your face like that? I miss some. Are you winking at me? I miss some. Okay, I'll give you some in a second, okay? One second. Let me do this side of the table, okay? All right, so let's finish over here. Austin's gluten-free pizza crust. I think there's two in the pack. Yeah, there's two that comes in the pack. I told you guys, Walmart makes this dairy-free cheese now. They didn't have the mozzarella in stock, and I told them I didn't want this, but they gave it to me anyways. Fine, I didn't have to pay for it, so no big deal. These yogurts I showed you, and then this is really good. This vegan sour cream, check that out. It's actually really good, and if you go to Walmart right now, I wanna say it's like $3.49 with a $1 off coupon. So yeah, check that out. It's actually really, really good. And we always keep it on hand. I also got the kids some gluten-free Oreos. Now, these are good, guys. I'm not going to lie. You can't tell the difference between anything. And you guys already know that Oreos, the cream inside, are vegan. But, yeah, these are these are good. They're no dairy and it's gluten-free. So, if you check the back, you'll see there's no milk in there or anything. And they're gluten-free. So, I'm loving seeing all these gluten-free labels. All right. Under here, I got some no-sugar added fruit for the kids. Right here, vanilla wafers. They also make these ones and gluten-free. So you just kind of got to look around to find some things, but you can find things and you could change up your diet. Rice cakes, gluten-free. I got these, um, this granola. My kids love granola on their yogurt. So this is cookie granola. I cannot wait to taste this. This is baked with coconut oil. Let's look at the back of this. All right, you see the back and there's nothing in here. Oh, coconut and almonds. So if you have a nut allergy, no, but there's no milk and there's no wheat. So yay, I can't wait to try this. All right, over here, we love these last week. Gluten-free pretzels, so I got two bags this week because, oh my gosh, these are so good. The texture is unreal. They're so good. This is the one of the things that I asked for, that I didn't ask for. I asked for some power protein 
some kind of um trail mix and they substituted this and then you know how they asked you like if you want it or not i said no but they still gave it to me and if you look at the back you see it does have milk so we definitely will not be eating this i'll give it away to someone all right i also got them some that's it mini fruit bars literally that's it literally that's it all right this is another thing that i got that was not dairy free it's gluten free, but it's not dairy free. And this is only because we're doing a project today with the gummy worms, the pudding, and the Oreos. And if you know what project I'm doing, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but if you do, type it in the comments because yeah, that's what I'm doing tonight. And my homegirl, she is a teacher. She's doing it with her students today. So if you know what project I'm doing with pudding, worms, and Oreos, Type it in the comments. All right, I also got over here some new baking stuff because I needed it. I needed a new bread pan. Like I said, we're going to be making more gluten-free bread. Now, I do have a bread machine and you guys know I use it a lot, but it just doesn't make the bread long enough. It's really big wide pan bread and after the, I'm finished cutting them, it's maybe like six or seven pieces. So it's not big enough. So I got a loaf pan. It's not huge, but it's, it's big enough for a small bread. I mean, look at this one. Look at how small this bread is. Where is it? So it'll make about, you know, this size of bread. But making my own gluten-free bread instead of paying six, seven bucks every time, yeah, we're gonna do that. I also got a uh, baking pan or a cake pan. We're gonna be making some lemon bars. So I got some stuff to make lemon bars. Just trying to do more stuff to where it's fruit-based and, you know, we're trying new things and I do, as you see, I do have a lot of processed stuff because like I said, it's new to us. It's just very new to us. And I'm trying to ease the kids in. Um, so I'm trying to really start with replacing some of their old foods with healthier options, more gluten-free options. But eventually I want this whole table, especially this. Eventually I want this whole side over here to look like this whole side over here. So it's a complete difference. Um, and I know a lot of people say, oh, well, that's not bad though. You bought some great stuff. No, I did not. Don't get me wrong. I tried to find the healthiest things I could find that didn't have, you know, all that junk. And now, like I said, I'm trying to ease them in. A lot of people want to go cold turkey with their kids. You do what works for you. That does not work with my kids with <laughs> autism spectrum disorder. It doesn't work like that. I got to slowly ease them into things. So here we go. I got some pop-up parchment sheets. I like these because you don't have to rip them, but it looks like my box got dismantled. And ordinarily, I wouldn't care, but hmm, kind of feel like, I mean, maybe I just won't use the top sheet. I don't know. It just feels weird to me. All right. I got Austin another cake pan because y'all seen my pans and I got myself some more baking sheets because y'all seen my baking sheets. <laughs> Over here, I got crinkle cut fries. This is always a good gluten-free snack. The kids love fries. It's easy. Throw it in the oven, and there you go. Everybody's happy. Grapes, because duh. My guilty pleasure, and only this one. So if you want to send me some, that's the one I like. It's so good. All right, I got more eggs. I got corn, beans, and more beans for something we're doing this week. I don't remember what it was. Oh, with the ribs. So, yeah. It's going to be good. Very, very good. And I think that's it. I'm really thinking that's it. I don't think, I don't know if I missed anything of the Cheerios, but if you see anything that I didn't say or didn't shout out, let me know in the comments. Oh, this. Okay. So these Mott's, ordinarily, I wouldn't buy these. I used to not buy these. These used to be made with red dye and a whole bunch of stuff, but Mott's has changed, guys. These are, hold on, let me show you. Gluten-free, gelatin-free, no colors from artificial sources, excellent source of vitamin C. And now I'm going to, I know it sounds weird I mean, or it sounds cliche, but I'm going to show you. Corn syrup, okay, some people may not have thought that. Oops, excuse my language. Some people may be mad about that, but, you know, whatever. Sugar, okay, you have that every day. It's not horrible. Yes, it has lots of sugar and stuff, but, like, it's all the stuff they used to put in it. Now, I don't know what the hell carna, what is this? Carnaba wax? I don't know what that is. I need to look it up. But as far as what used to be in these, I, it is what it is. Now this, of course, this is absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. The amount of times I see this and we just bypass it, it's horrible. So eventually all of this kind of stuff will be not in our diet. But for now, baby steps. Anyways, I'm going to jump off. I just wanted to show you what we have in our grocery order for a family of seven, five kids, 10 and under. Y'all ready for the grand total? You ready? 
the grand total of all of this stuff for my family of seven was yeah so usually we spend about 220 230 a week and so you see the price differential but this week also i did have to stock up on meats you see, I did buy some things that were not the uh, the gloves and stuff that were not necessarily grocery items. So, you know, you give or take, but eating healthier does cost some money, you know? But like I said, with all these new things that I bought, I had to stock up on bulk things that I'm gonna need. So with the flowers and the cornmeal and stuff, these are things I'll be able to utilize every single week. So it's not like I'm just like hurting for um, buying these items all the time. No, I'll have them on hand. So next week or the next time I won't have to buy those things. Yeah, that makes any sense. Anyways, I'm going to get this stuff in here because I'm tired of looking at my meat on this and I don't want anything to spoil, anything to get ruined. Thank you so much for joining our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, please, because I want you to come back and see the next grocery haul. Maybe it'll be less next time since I don't have to buy, you know, so much different stuff. But I also want you to come back to see all the things that I've learned and all the ways that we have learned to go gluten-free. I am going to come up with some great recipes for y'all. We, of course, are writing a book on it. And I just want to show you how we can maybe help your family to transition. If you've been thinking about trans transitioning to a plant-based or vegan or milk-free or dairy-free, you know, kids with hyperactivity and kids with ADHD, cutting things out their diet like the red dyes and gluten and sugar and um, milk and dairy, it can help. It can help a lot. Allergies are present themselves in a lot of things but people think it's just sneezing and and breakouts it can be in behavior too i promise you it can and this is as someone who was a special needs teacher for many years and i mean i still am i teach my children and all of them have some kind of special needs i'm letting you know there's a big difference when you cut the gluten and the the milk and things like that out of your diet i've seen such a big difference in behaviors and my children and just a lot. I can't wait to go in there. If you want to know more about that, please just let me know. Type it below and I'll explain to you some of the things I've seen and I would love to take you on this journey with us. So I'm off. I'm done being long winded. Let me go and take care of Dylan. Put all this stuff away. I will see you guys in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you have not already voted today for Super Mom of the Year, I'm going to attach the link below. Go ahead and do that. You get one free vote every single day. Don't forget. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. And as always, Peace, love, and blessings. Bye-bye. In my imagination, I'm always on vacation. Say that I'm a wild child. I'm a free.